Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and this time we're taking a look at the Tommy Tech Little Armory Barrett M82A1 rifle. Now, if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. Recently, I was doing research on the internet searching for a company who produces accessories, diodes, and weapons in 112th scale that would be compatible with the G.I. Joe Classified series. And the reason for that is I wanted to provide modern kit and weapons for the Classified Series Joe figures while allowing the Cobra figures to retain their futuristic type guns that they include you know, kind of giving Cobra an edge over G.I. Joe, they've got the better weapons, whereas the Joe team has to rely on, you know, what they can find. And, you know, I just wasn't satisfied with the fact that some of the classified series figures like Breaker, for example, does not include any individual kit. He doesn't have a sidearm. He doesn't have a rifle. And, you know, if you look at Beachhead, he is completely kitted out. You know, he's got a plate carrier. He's got a sidearm carbine and a fixed blade combat knife and there's no consistency there with the figures and their kit so you're left doing what i've been doing and buying multiples of certain figures to kit out the, the rest of your joes and, and looking for alternatives one of the companies that i came across and i highly recommend this company to those of you who are collectors of the classified series is a company called grid iron props they have a page on facebook uh, Instagram, a website. They've got some really nice small arms for both 112th and 118th scale figures. So their weapons are compatible with both the classified series and the retro collection. They've also got some great accessories for 112th scale figures like M beater radios. They've got a pencil mounted M134 minigun on a small dio. They've got a rebreather set for Navy diver. Uh, flamethrower kit you know so there's a lot of great stuff that they've got on their website and each day during december up until christmas they are revealing new products daily to collectors and i think it's just a really great company that being said i was looking for something different i saw some things on there that i liked but i wanted to continue to to do research and i came across a link on the internet for a product on amazon and when I clicked the link, it took me to a page with this product. And I had never heard of Tommy Tech or Little Armory. And I just began to look at the product. And the moment that I saw it, I thought, wow, this would be great for Scarlet. And I was not aware that it was a model kit. As I began to read the description and read the product reviews, that's when I discovered that it was actually a model kit, that it wasn't, you know, made specifically as an accessory toy for the action figures. And I'm thankful that I did read that because I learned exactly how fragile it is. And once it arrived in the mail today, I saw firsthand, you know, the, the plastic on this is really thin. You have to be super careful cutting the parts off of the sprue tree because if you don't, you're gonna break something. So I ordered it, it arrived today, and I painted it, assembled it, and there it is. And you know, it's just a really nice looking gun. Now, if you don't know anything about the Barrett, it was designed by an individual named Ronnie Barrett back in the early 80s. And the Barrett M82A1 is chambered for the 50 BMG cartridge, which was designed in 1921. It's been in service with the US since that time. Uh, it really popular around maximum effective range on its 2,500 meters. And of course, you guys that are prior service, you're familiar with the Mod Deuce. You know, it's mounted on every vehicle out there, the Humvees, Strikers, Bradleys, Abrams, you know, tripod mounted at FOBs for perimeter defense. Uh, everyone loves the Mod Deuce. But what Mr. Barrett did was he took that cartridge and designed a semi-automatic anti-material rifle around that cartridge. And many people have mistakenly labeled this a sniper rifle. You won't find that term anywhere in the company's description of the M82A1 or its successor, the M107. It was designed to disable armored vehicles, aircraft, and fixed targets like radar, communication sites, and things like that. 
since that time, it has been used to engage and destroy individual combatants. And when I say destroy, that's exactly what the 50 BMG round will do. So the weapon system itself is a little over four feet in length, fully assembled, uh, weighs 30 pounds. It is a short stroke gas operated system. It has an 11 round detachable box magazine, which you see here, and it will accommodate a variety of optics. And true to the real life counterpart, the scope on this rifle actually has a miniature pick rail on top of it to attach either night vision or thermal accessory to the front of the scope. You can see it's got a skeletonized stock. It's got a standard A2 pistol grip on it. The fire control selector and trigger are identical to those used on the AR-15 M16 family of weapons. Skeletonized lower uh, receiver and upper receiver there it has a fluted barrel and then it's got that extremely large muzzle brake and that is part of the recoil operation system to manage recoil for this weapon. Behind it, you can see the box that it comes in. It's got some Anaheim artwork on there. On the back, you can see a diagram of the completed model. And here's what it looks like disassembled. And that's essentially what the actual firearm looks like when it's disassembled. The one thing you're not seeing is right here, the charging handle, which is part of the bolt carrier assembly on the gun. And that's what the finished product looks like when it's black. Here's the instruction booklet. And it's fairly straightforward with the assembly process. You do have to use glue on most of it. Now, what I didn't use glue on was the upper and lower receivers there. I just snapped those together. The other thing I'll point out, if you are intent on buying this for your classified series figures. If you look at the throat of the barrel, the bottom part of this is flat so that it can fit flush here in the lower receiver channel there. You need to assemble this first before you put the muzzle brake on because if you don't, you'll make the mistake that I did and attach the muzzle brake incorrectly. And I actually had to twist it off and if you look at the, the barrel, it's got a, a small plastic tip for the muzzle brake to attach to. And I broke that off and had to glue the muzzle brake directly to the barrel right there. That's the assembly process. And then this is what the parts look like on a sprue tree. And it does include uh, four individual 50 caliber rounds. I'll show you those in just a moment. There's the actual toy. You can see it's really detailed. All the way around, it looks really, really nice. True to the, the real steel weapon. Now, the bipod legs do fold up, but they are just on this little peg. They aren't glued or attached and they can come off. So if you apply any pressure just like that, they, they will pop off. The box magazine is detachable. You can see there's an actual round in there that you can paint. you guys can see that I've also painted the ocular and objective lenses on the scope. Really cool little weapon. And the action figures can hold it. But again, you have to be really, really careful with doing this. And what I, what I did earlier was I just took her, her, fingers on her hand and just kind of open them up and just carefully slide it in like that. You know, and you can have her hold the rifle or you can position her, you know, with a diorama. And inside here, See if I can pull one of these out where you can see it. There's one of the 
individual 50 caliber rounds. I'll pull the monopod out. Carry handle I left off because on the actual firearm, the carry handle is actually positioned right here. And it wouldn't go on here where the scope is because the little peg on it's too large. They had it positioned up here, so I just left it off. It also includes this monopod to attach to the stock. And you can give her a stable shooting platform. Where she can get behind a weapon and use it like that. So it's a really, really cool little accessory for dios and toy photography, and that's why I got it. And it's really neat. You know, I'd like to see Gridiron Props come out with one of these because I know that their product would be much more resilient and less prone to breaking than something like this is. Their accessory weapons, you can definitely play with. You don't have any, any problems doing that. But something like this that looks that realistic is nice to have in your collection, you know, to display with your figures. So guys, there you have the Tommy Tech Little Armory Barrett M82A1 rifle.